Do you know what advanced biofuels are and how they are produced? In this video, I will explain the most common types of biofuels and the first and second generation ethanol processes, as well as the most important challenges and current developments for advanced biofuels. Biofuels are fuels derived directly or indirectly from organic biomasses, including plant and animal materials. These fuels can either be gaseous, like biogas produced by anaerobic digestion of organic materials, or liquid. Currently, there are two types of liquid biofuels in the market, bioethanol and biodiesel. Biodiesel fuels are derived from vegetable oils like soy, canola, or palm oils, animal fats, or waste oils, for example, used cooking oil. And they are different types in the market, such as fatty acid methyl esters, short name FAME, or hydrogenated vegetable oils, short name HBO. Ethanol is a two-carbon alcohol with many applications in food as a chemical disinfectant or as fuel. Bioethanol refers to ethanol produced by fermentation of sugar-containing feedstocks. In response to the European goals for the sustainability of transport, the demand for liquid biofuels will multiply, especially in the aviation and heavy transport sectors. For these sectors, there are currently no other alternatives for sustainable energy source than liquid biofuels. Depending on the biomass feedstock used for liquid biofuels production, we can distinguish between first generation biofuels and second generation or advanced biofuels. First generation feedstocks are sugar rich and these sugars are easily available but they may compete with uses in food or feed. Second generation feedstocks are energy crops or side streams from agriculture or the food chain that do not compete with the food or feed markets, but need stringent methods to make sugars available for fermentation. First generation ethanol is produced from starchy or sugary feedstocks such as cereal grains. Starch is easily extracted and can be hydrolyzed by enzymes into glucose, which is fermented to bioethanol. Second generation bioethanol is produced currently from lignocellulosic biomasses. These are rich in cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. To make the sugars available for fermentation, the biomasses need stringent treatments, often using high temperatures and high chemical loadings. After the pretreatment where lignin is separated, the cellulose and hemicellulose polymers are hydrolyzed into their sugar components, mainly glucose and xylose, that can be fermented. Bioethanol is produced by yeasts. These are unicellular organisms. The yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae, also called Baker's yeast, is a well-known bioethanol producer that ferments sugars into ethanol and CO2. These yeasts are also used in other fermentation processes, such as brewing for beer production or baking. The bioethanol production process consists of several steps. First of all, feedstock pretreatment. Secondly, enzymatic hydrolysis of the sugar polymers. Then fermentation, separation and purification of the bioethanol. Normally, this is done by distillation. The vinases produced consist of yeast cells and unfermented biomass. They are rich in protein and can be dried and pelleted to be sold as dried distillers, grains, and solubles, short name DDGS, for animal feed. For each ton of grains, around 400 liters of ethanol and 500 kilograms of DDGS are produced. Other products that can be marketed are biogenic CO2, around 300 kilograms per ton of grains used, and gluten. However, the second generation bioethanol processes are not widely implemented yet. 
The cost of the processes are higher than the cost of fossil fuels. The high biomass price and the cost of the pretreatment of the lignocellulosis are currently the major bottlenecks in second generation bioethanol production. Technological innovations are needed to make these processes more economically viable. So what alternatives are there? In recent years, there are development towards the production of bioethanol from carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide containing gases, such as syngas from gasification of waste biomasses, gas emissions from industries like steel mills and cement producers or CO2 capture from the air. These processes are not implemented yet, but maybe in the future. Other alcohols with uses as biofuel are biobutanol and bioisobutanol. These are four carbon long alcohols with higher energy content than ethanol and are less corrosive and have less affinity with water. These processes are currently being developed and will expand the diversity of liquid biofuels. Now you know what different types of biofuels are currently in use, as well as the bottlenecks of the production processes and several existing alternatives. Advanced biofuels complying with regulations to assure sustainability and high greenhouse gas emission reduction compared to fuel fuels are expected to play an important role in the near future. The highest demand for advanced biofuels is in aviation, shipping, and heavy transport. All in all, advanced biofuels are an example of how biotechnology can help our society to be more sustainable.